All right. Hello. Hello, Scorpio. Happy March 2019. You can watch the beginning of the Pisces video. Maybe there's a strong Pisces in your chart. I don't know, but I'll explain why the videos are behind my normal time that I like to get them up. But um, yeah, I'm, my, I got my voice back. <clears throat> so excuse me as I may cough and drink water. So we'll get the tarot and the astrology um, reading going. All right. So we want to see what the cards have to say. And the way I'm reading it is the first card really takes the, the tone, the lead. Okay. And the tarot, you're going to, it's going to tell you what will happen based on really the first, the lead of the first card. <clears throat> right. So I'm learning a lot. And even though I've been reading cards for so many years and just really seriously getting more into it six years ago, even more serious, <clears throat> which I don't know how more serious it could be, but we want to take it from the first card. And the, the chariot is about a journey and the process and the time of that journey, right? <clears throat> and... We want to think of it as we think of how important something is to you. Because the importance of something will determine the time. I'm going to put this right here so you can see it. The time that you spend on it. <clears throat> right? So on this journey that you're on, you really have to trust yourself. Okay? Okay. So we're, we're looking at the chariot card and we're thinking about trusting ourselves. We're thinking about the journey that we're on rather. Okay. <clears throat> so we know what that is. So we want to trust ourselves and we want to block out any naysayers, the outside world, and really trust in our voice <clears throat> as I'm trying to gain mine back. We want to trust in our voice and really believe in ourselves because if you're going to keep going on this this journey the chariot you know what what you're really going to need, need to ground you is money or is is some kind of support <clears throat> okay so it's not about a lofty dream or um having your head in the clouds or um <clears throat> just doing it, you know, halfway, you really want to give it a good shot. And the moon card is about <coughs> many things, but you want to see things for what they really are. What is really going on here? You know, you might be asking yourself a lot of questions. Why am I doing this? You might question yourself, but you won't question yourself if you really Take heed to the two of swords and trust your own voice. <clears throat> trust yourself. And let me look at this again. The six of staves, it's all about celebration. As, as soon as I see the picture, I know it's celebrating a victory. But <clears throat> So you want to celebrate that victory because you're going to, along the way, you're going to find that, hey, things are working out better than I thought. Because you're really going to have to have a strong mind to keep yourself going. It's, it's like an everyday process. And of course, I don't say this in all my videos, but this is for, for a Scorpio. Birth sign, rising sign, north node, or moon sign. This is a strong <laughs> message <coughs> for you, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So, this is what you want to do. Okay, you want to really celebrate when you do something good, when something is working out for you. Celebrate that. I had to pause the video there so that I could blow my nose. Okay, so you really want to celebrate your wins and keep that in your mind. Keep a, a, um, a celebrating happy mind, even though if something bad's happening or something sad, you're not lying to yourself. You just remind yourself, like, 
you know, everything's going to work out good. It's going to, it's going to be okay. Now the sun card is something new coming into your life. Okay. And maybe something you've been waiting for it could be a surprise, but this is something that's, that's always on time. It's always right there. Okay. Right there when you need it. Don't forget to rest <coughs> and think about what you're grateful for, you know, and that will keep you in check and in balance of your relationship with yourself and with others. <clears throat> then, <coughs> excuse me, the Four of Cups is always about making that that right choice and decision making, indecision, and just go with what you know is best, not be greedy or overthinking something. All right. Always have a backup plan. You know, really think things through as you're going and be ready. Always be ready for a little shift, a little change up, mishaps or anything that happens. Don't let it throw you off. Just roll with it, bounce with it and keep going. After a while, you're going to feel and know when, when it's time to switch up and switch up. Take yourself on that new journey <coughs> because, you know, sometimes we we're like, oh, we're doing this. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. And oh, this is great. I, I love this. This is wonderful. But then you might get a little bit bored or you might feel uninspired. I felt that you might feel whatever you're feeling. But this new journey now, this this page is like, you know, also, you know, writing things down. To manifest it and move yourself forward and here you have the fool and you know this is like another another chance this page of rods is preparing you in this journey now to where, where you're feeling with the page of, of rods or page of wands you're feeling maybe something needs to change up a little bit and here comes the fool and you know this is a time to let go of what you thought you knew and everything that you know that's great, but let's bring it back to zero and clear the mind and welcome in some new information. That's going to help you along your way. So always be willing to learn and, and be so open that you know I need to take some, <clears throat> some new steps, okay? New changes. I like doing this spread, but I also like the row as well. It's pretty cool. So let's see what the playing cards have to say. Now you have the Ten of Hearts. And the Ten of Hearts talks about some good news coming into your life. A celebration. <clears throat> it talks about just being really overjoyed and happy. You know, um, you feel like you're winning. You know, maybe you'll have a party or a wedding someone you care about is engaged or is getting married um, and there's a final date okay maybe it's in October you know 10 October or maybe they want a fall wedding or some sort um, and and um, maybe there's um, a large gathering in the future <coughs> and that's good so I'll put this up here too because I love how I wrote on this one so, <clears throat> excuse me. So this might give you new inspiration and, and a new drive and new ideas. Okay. So this is all about this new journey that you want to take yourself on. And I feel that spring also opens that up and provides that. Okay. So let's look at the astrology. Let's dabble into that and see how that works. So you've, we've already passed the 6th of, of um, March, the new moon in Pisces, <coughs> excuse me, and then the 5th through the 28th is Mercury in retrograde, so we would have already gotten stuff organized, and while we're in the Mercury retrograde, we're not taking anything personal that anyone says, and we want to use less words and um, just kind of blow things off. You know, don't worry about it. <clears throat> and the new moon in Pisces is a great time to really 
check in on how intuitive you are and how open-minded you, you are for the whole month of March. You know, so Pisces is very intuitive. And if you think about reincarnation, they're like a mastermind when they get reincarnated. And a lot of water signs are you're supposed to be better than yourself, better than your relatives, better than your friends spiritually, <clears throat> where you see yourself in everyone. Right. You cry. You <coughs> you shouldn't be so um, <clears throat> broken up over sad news. But um, you should be able to understand, you know, everyone's pain, right? Because if something's not right for you, then it can't be right for anyone else. And, and as a water sign, if you care to be spiritual, then <clears throat> if you're truly an empath and, and so on, and I have to do a video on that because it gets too wonky when people say they're empaths and then it affects them so strongly we have to work on really protecting your energy so it doesn't affect you strongly but um <clears throat> excuse me what, what i'm saying is the water the water sign in any moon full moon or new moon <clears throat> excuse me is a great time to check in on how you feel and how you think spiritually so you can grow now march 20th is a full moon in virgo and virgo affects the digestive tract small intestines and the pancreas so spiritually for astrology they say never to work on these these um <clears throat> in organs at this time okay <coughs> so if you if anything like that affects you then the next day is the is the waning um, moon in Libra. So then that would be the appropriate time to work on that. Okay. Um, and you can do yoga. You can do um, Qigong, Tai Chi, um, Reiki, Seraphim, um, even um, Qigong sessions of healing and cleansing the body with energy work, right? <clears throat> Same as Reiki and Seraphim and any other um energy healing tribal kind of you know um energy healing hands-on techniques and and both the energy healing and the physical movement is so good for the body because that brings in the balance the yin and yang okay i'm trying to talk through this all right um and this month is, I can't remember if I said in this video, but, you know, for the new year, when you go by this calendar of the new year starting in January, you don't have to get everything perfect the, the first three months. Wait until the end of spring, beginning of summer to really see a big shift in your life. All right. So I think I covered everything. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Scorpio, see you next time. Find me on Instagram.